We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustain these children with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Well, hello there, children of God. I understand you're learning about baptism in Sunday school. I'm Pastor Christine, if you haven't met me before, and I'm so glad that you're talking about baptism because baptism is about God's love for you. Here we are in this beautiful sanctuary of St. John's where baptisms happen, where people who are baptized here become members of Christ's church and they also become children of God, loved by God, and made new people through the waters of baptism. Here at, ba here at St. John's, baptisms are very special for us because it's the whole people of God that get to celebrate together. And we stand up here at what looks like a sink, but what it really is, is a font. We call it a font. That's the name of the, of the big bowl where we baptize. And as you saw, I first put water in and I said a special prayer. That special prayer has been said at the baptism of every single person ever baptized since the time of Jesus Christ. And it was likely said at your baptism. Baptism is so many special, special promises from God. They include forgiveness of sins. That's when we do wrong things. It includes becoming a part of God's church. It includes grace, which means being basically given love, even when we don't deserve it on days when we're not really feeling like we deserve it. And it also means that we're connected to everyone who's been baptized in the whole world. Amazing gifts that God gives us as we await our time in heaven with God. So, for a baptism to happen here at St. John's, we have some special things that happen. So first of all, we pour water in the font, and water by itself doesn't make that much of a difference, but once we add God's Word to it, and we talk about God's prayer and the Holy Spirit, it becomes something much more than that. God's Word and water becomes a special gift for you. And then, when the child is baptized, we put a sign of the cross on their forehead, and that seals them with the gift of the Holy Spirit. We use oil as a sign of that gift when we place it on the forehead of a child. Then, we also have a candle. You remember in the Bible it says, Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This candle symbolizes those wonderful things that God is calling you to do in the world. We light that candle and then we give it to them as a, as an, a sign of what they are to do in the world. And then lastly, they are given this gift of a little napkin, which, is, which is, basically takes the water, dries their forehead, but it also is a symbol of the cross and a symbol of our font here at St. John's to remind them that they are loved by this faith community. I'm so glad that you're talking about baptism, not only Jesus' baptism, but yours, and the baptism of everybody here at St. John's and the whole world. And I hope that you know how special you are. You are loved by God through holy baptism, and you are a beloved child of God. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day.